Welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will give important questions in organizational behavior, third, fourth, and fifth units. Already I posted first and, first and second units important questions. Now in this video, I will go for organizational behavior that is R18, BTEC, fourth year, fourth year, second semester for all CSA branches. The unit three important questions are, short answer questions are, Define interactive communication and explain its significance in organization. List and briefly describe any four types of communication. What are the common barriers to effective communication? Define participative decision making. Give you an example. What is group decision making? Mention two techniques used. Define stress and list its types. What is intra-individual conflict? Give you an example. Mention any two strategies to cope with stress. List different types of conflict. What is the impact of stress on organizational behavior? The long answer questions are explain the types of communication and discuss the barriers and strategies to improve communication flow. Describe the various participative decision making techniques and their advantages. Elaborate on the role of creativity in group decision making with suitable examples. Explain the meaning and types of stress and conflict. Discuss strategies to manage them. Next question is, analyze the effects of intra-individual conflict and stress on employee performance and moral. Discuss the importance of communication in organizational success with examples. Examine the steps involved in effective decision making process in a team setting. Critically evaluate the role of participative decision making in fostering innovation. Analyze the causes and consequences of workplace stress. Describe how organizations can design stress management programs for employees. Next unit for short answer questions are define power. Mention any two types of power. What is empowerment? State its importance in organizations. Differentiate between groups and teams. What are informal groups? Mention any two dynamics. Define the term dysfunctions of groups. Give examples. What are teams in a modern workplace? List two advantages of teamwork. Mention two challenges faced by informal groups. Define political behavior in organizations. What is the role of power in group dynamics? The long answer questions are Explain the types of power and discuss the significance of empowerment in organizational settings. Compare and contrast groups and teams with relevant examples. Describe the dynamics of informal groups and their impact on the organization. Discuss the um, dysfunctions of groups and teams and how they can be addressed. Examine the evaluation of teams in the modern workplace and their contribution to performance. Evaluate the impact of organizational politics on group performance. Discuss how power dynamics influence team decision making. Explain the benefits and drawbacks of informal groups in the workplace. Analyze the life cycle of a team and its implications on team performance. Access how leadership styles affect group dynamics and productivity. Then unit 5, short answer questions. Define job design and its purpose. What is goal setting? Mention two characteristics of effective goals. Define quality of work life, QWL. What is socio-technical design? List two high performance work practices. What is reinforcement in behavioral management? Define punishment as a principle of learning. What is behavioral modification? Mention any two leadership styles. What are the key activities of a great leader? These are the short answer questions in our last unit, unit 5. The long answer questions are, explain how job design and goal setting contribute to high performance. Discuss the concept of quality of work life and socio-technical design with examples. Describe the principles of reinforcement and punishment in behavioral performance management. Explain the process of behavioral modification and its applications in organizations. Analyze different leadership theories and describe the skills and activities of effective leaders. 
evaluate various job design approaches and their effectiveness in different industries discuss the impact of goal setting theory on employee motivation and performance analyze how i performance work practices can transform organizational culture explain the concept and applications of socio technical systems in modern organizations and the last question is critically access the effectiveness of behavioral modification techniques in shaping employee behavior so these are the important questions in unit 345 organizational behavior thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you